Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Yesterday we talked about how God created the world and everything in it through Jesus. And then Jesus came to make us a new creation spiritually. John 1.4 says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The New Living Translation puts it this way, The Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. We know that through Jesus, God created the world in the beginning. But when Jesus began his ministry, his physical healings proved that he wasn't done creating and giving life. Dead limbs worked again. Blind eyes could see. People who were quite literally and physically dead were given life again. But that was just on the surface. He did amazing miracles, healing physical maladies, but that wasn't his main purpose for coming. So what was it? Giving life to dead souls. Remember when the friends of the paralyzed man let him down through the roof for Jesus to heal him? What was the first thing that Jesus said? Not, take up your bed and walk, but, son, your sins are forgiven you. Jesus knew the man needed his sins forgiven more than he needed to be able to walk. But when Jesus said this, if there wasn't an audible gasp of disbelief, Jesus certainly heard it spiritually. Only God could forgive sins. In saying this, Jesus was making himself equal to God. To those listening, this was blasphemy. They were appalled. So to prove that he was indeed God and had the power and authority to forgive sins, Jesus healed the man, amazing everyone who saw it. Jesus proved over and over that he could give life physically. But when he died for our sins as a perfect sacrifice, he made life available to us spiritually as well. Just as God breathed the breath of life into Adam at creation, He sends the Holy Spirit, the breath of life, into us when we're saved. His blood that was poured out for us on the cross is transfused into our spirit. He gives us a new life, a new purpose, a new joy. He promises us eternal life. But that life doesn't start when we die. It starts at the moment of salvation and continues into eternity. That life gives us a new heart and a new joy. Whether or not circumstances around us change, we have a new life that no one can take away. In fact, circumstances may even get worse. But whatever happens, that new life within us can continue to grow and flourish. Do you have the joy that's found in new life in Christ? Jesus is the source of all life. Who do you know who needs that life today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through His Word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.